I wanted to be an artist since I was 14, but when I finished um, university and finished uh, the army, then I said to my father, I want to be an artist, and he said, no, you can't. You, you know, when he said it would be bad for me, I would be poor and unhappy, <laughs> whatever. So I believed him. But then, so it, I put it off for 10 years, but I always wanted to be an artist. I made two films, but it didn't feel exactly right. And when I started working in video, which was 1969, it felt exactly right. It just felt like the me I belonged to the medium. The camera was here, you could look at it over here, and it wasn't like holding a camera up to your eye. So I liked that displacement. And in my first videos over there, I, I used that displacement. The first thing I did in the video was videotapes, but because I worked at the Metropolitan Museum as a, a consultant, but I was interested in how video would work inside a museum, how video would work inside a gallery. And I thought, you know, people don't look that long. And video was very long at the time. So I just had this idea to have a, not videotape, but just set up a camera and have something that related to the room that the camera and monitor was in. So that's where it started, and then I added a mirror and came up with Kiva. The way I came up with Interface was more difficult to explain, but again, I wanted for the viewer to be an experience, not just having to sit down and look at this long video, but actually something much more instantaneous, because for me, the um, instantaneousness of video was really crucial. With video, you raise your hand, and you, there it is, you've raised your hand. So this kind of interaction between the viewer and the, the medium was really important to me. It was important for philosophical reasons, like just exploring the idea of what, how we react to media. Uh, I didn't want to perform in front of a crowd because it frightened me a lot. But with, in front of a video camera in my studio, with just me and the camera, that was okay. I mean, I liked it, and so I wasn't thinking who's watching this. I was just thinking, what is my relationship to to video and the technology, and what am I forming myself and the technology? What is happening? What is the energy flowing back and forth between me and, and the technology? After thinking that way for 10 years, I was really sick of it, and I wanted to just look outside myself and not inside. And I think by looking outside, it's still making reference to the inside. I mean, what you choose to look at, what you choose to photograph what you choose to video is reflecting on who you are, who I was, who I am. But it wasn't this, you know, camera in my face and, you know, what's inside of you and exploring the dark sides and the shadow sides and the double sides and The piece of Head of a Man was maybe the last video that I made. When you look at someone's face, you're trying to puzzle out, you know, what, what they're about and what they're thinking and get some sense of, of their mood and emotion. But I felt, you know, that if you look at abstract expressionism, which is like landscape, I mean, I thought of it like landscape, that they're really trying to express what's inside. For me, landscape was inside out of a portrait. 
It's just take, removing the face and looking at what's inside and putting it out on the wall. Uh, and the stones were, to me, like faces, but more, I mean, they were, they felt human to me, but they felt also like, like nature, like nature from far away in the universe, in the heavens. When I went back to working in video, which was 1995, I was back to looking outside and inside at the same time. It was like a journal. And then the last room, Convergence, I think is, for the first time for me, making philosophical references to, to cinema and what I wanted to be the same and what I wanted to be different. Cinema is based on being a fantasy. You sit there, you're very comfortable, the images come past you and then you lose yourself into the images. And I. I felt with art, art is material, and you're constantly relating to the physicality of art. In video, I always tried to have a very strong physical element to whatever I was doing. So in Convergence, I was trying to present these very large images, but have the same sense of not disappearing into them. You're not being controlled because you can create your own experience in the space. There was a curator of, of Far Eastern art in the Boston Museum of Art. His name was Kumaswamy. And he said that art should have four attributes, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And for me, this is like the Bible. I believe that art, everything I do, has to have those four attributes. In video, having physical is probably the most difficult part.